What's going on, Taylor? And it's your boy Dre. And we're here. It's uh, we're finally showing a little bit of a uh, December here, as we are in uh, <laughs> hoodies and hats here. And nothing's uh, more Christmas than maybe M I B I International, the, the the new Men in Black film. So you know, I we saw this a couple days ago. Actually, when I first saw it, I didn't realize it was actually literally called Men in Black International. I thought it was Men in Black International official trailer. <laughs> yeah, so they thought, yeah. You know, they, they, always, they always have the, the trailer, yeah. the official trailer, the international trailer. They have okay. different language ones. They, they have different trailers for different uh, countries because, you know, different things appeal to different people. So and I you just, actually make it. International trailers always, for some reason, get more footage, like a, a scene or two thrown in there. Yeah. It just proves how uh, us Americans are, are easily pleased. It's yes. like, here you go. And then, like, oh, here you go. Oh, you want more? Don't worry. We got more for you. you Internationally. You Chinese people, you Japanese folk or wherever you be <laughs> you got more so they know they know how to play the game so, so yeah so there was a there was there was talk in the past of a for some reason a 21 jump street and a men like crossover really? um, yeah you hear about that <laughs> yeah no. there was supposed to be there's something talk of that but we got a new one um chris Hemsworth is in it and uh the girl who plays valkyrie in thor um so the cast of thor the is now in men in black now. international <laughs> yeah uh, so yeah, so let's look for small Easter eggs, and we'll be pausing and take a look at this. So here we go. Oh, Sony. Sony. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yep. That comes under with Liam Neeson. He's always in. Do you think they like ever since Taken, they just love to have Liam Neeson audio? You know, there's everything? a new movie with him, like a, a snowmobile driver. You seen that? Trailer? No. Like he was a snow, like a snow plower in Alaska, and for some reason his family gets caught, like taken. Go, <laughs> it's not taken, it's just never different movie. Like I think, like he's like, you need an action movie, you need Liam Neeson. He's, it's almost not like a joke, but we just have to find a way to get Liam Neeson in an action yeah, movie. Yeah, like they just had like, and they just let that voice that I am the best, so I have a set of skills. Like that that <laughs> deep scratch that. Do you do you think? All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's put some money down, higher or lower. Yay nay, do you think Liam Neeson is going to be taken in this film? Oh, like a reverse joke? Like because this is because M- 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 I- M- is gonna be a jokey. Yeah, it, like, in the M I E B, all he likes to like you know play around with the real world, right? Yeah. Uh, if you guys remember, they had Michael Jackson on there. At some Agent point. M. Like, yeah. I can be Agent M. Um, and like yeah, 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 we'll get back to you, Michael. <laughs> and they made him like a, he's he's a weird alien. Anyway, Liam Neeson gets taken in this movie. And, the plot is getting him back, or part of it. Plot. What do you think? I say yay. You think that? I don't know. I don't think they're. I know they they have some inside jokes here, and we'll we'll get to those when they happen. But All right. I don't think you heard it here, folks. First, Lee Neeson is going to be taken. We are pretty good at yeah. predictions, so, <laughs> so yeah. Let's yeah. go. So it's so I'm gonna pause right here. We just take a look at this. So these are two. Um, these two pictures here so we we assume the left hand side it's Liam Neeson and, and Chris Hemsworth but on the right hand side it is actually Tommy Jones and Will Smith versus the first Giant alien cockroach yeah the first cockroach yeah, in the... I put my head I put my head yeah like this and the and the in the back it's not the moon that's the world's fair where the yeah, that, where the spaceship was yeah when they crashed they, he took the spaceship and crashed yeah. it made perfect sense I I I, I, seriously, I saw this twice earlier, and I'm just like, oh, it looks like Will Smith and you know Tommy Lee Jones. Oh, Smith because you know one's darker than the other. Like, yeah, could be anybody. But yeah. he he brought it. He he broke down the evidence, and he's like, look, check this out because crazy theory. And then he drew it out. He so you can't see that there's a clipboard over there. He drew it all out for me, and he like wrote facts. It's like, okay, I believe you. You you win. No, that's good. One fact, it's, it's so, true. So clearly, this what what this is basically establishing. We're in the same universe, so yeah. the same rules apply. So what I, what I think also on that case on the left hand side it looks like the te- the Eiffel Tower there right so we we and we did see Chris Hemsworth and Liam Neeson working to, like a clip of them sh- together so that may be their final like their final together where Liam Neeson kind of retires and becomes or Liam Neeson's now the villain mm, maybe know. I'm, I'm going with that now like because you can't switch it up like two minutes later no because if you think about it they're really showing him a lot in this. Trailer just for like being like a kid, like that's not gonna be anybody. Let's go. Let's you go. need to see his rip. Like he's not like yeah. Okay, so we'll keep going. Okay. Agent H. Agent Hensworth. <laughs> Chris Hensworth. 
And there's, and then there's Valkyrie. <laughs> so I, I think they're doing the reverse here. So Valkyrie, I'm going to call it Valkyrie. So I, don't, I don't know her name offhand. I forgot her name. And then they brought her back for her. Because she was the last uh, it might be film too, mm -hmm. if you remember. But Valkyrie's going to be like the more the Will Smith character. <laughs> yes. And Chris and, and Hemsworth more is a Tommy Jones. But, but also reverse as well as Chris Hemsworth more laid back. Because if you remember, uh, uh, Will Smith was the one who actually like found. I mean, they he found. Was just, he was just a regular cop. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I mean, they chose him to be it might be. But he basically chased down that the cephalopod. cephalopod dude on foot. Like, like blinked and blinked mind. twice. He's like, yeah. yeah so, like, you know, he, they were just like, oh, this dude's amazing. So, same thing with, like, her. Like, oh, this chick's amazing. So, it's basically, like, if, long story short, black people are amazing. <laughs> long story <laughs> short. Y'all should hire me for MIB. I, I'm still waiting for my car. I, I'm sorry. You're the, you're, the, you're the Michael Jackson of that one. You're <laughs> yeah. like, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll give you a call. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll get yeah, back to you. Yeah. Um, yeah, Agent S. Yeah. Yeah. So, the, the, basically, we got the cast of uh, Ragnarok, Thor, uh, Thor Ragnarok. It was the Thor oh, Ragnarok. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have Valkyrie and Chris Hemsworth, the Thor. So it basically just seems like they <laughs> clearly aren't going to make any more Thor films, right? <laughs> I don't know. No, no, no. They're, they're still making. Uh, we'll really? see, though. I'm thinking, I thinking don't think they killed off Loki. They, they, he's dead, y'all. Um, we'll they, do that. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go. You don't get too much on a tangent on Marvel stuff. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, so, yeah. So Chris Hemsworth is super laid back. Apparently, and um, it really just feels like this new movie is this is like a, a, a like you know when something comes out and you advertise to your kids like oh this is like they might be but it's more hip more cool more today because they have Fer the Fergie song from way back when like, years and years and years ago <laughs> yeah. they got Fergie they got, got Chris Hensworth who's the new hotness. Um, you're gonna say you say old and busted new hotness. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> shoot, that is funny. Completely by accident. <laughs> Will Smith, old busted. Old and button. Chris Amber, new, hot. new hotness. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's funny. That's like a uh, like an ongoing joke. Yeah. Speaking of jokes, here's the your Thor joke. Thor Hammer. Oh, that was incredible. you caught it. <laughs> so is Thor? Is, here's like. Uh, let me take a step back. Is Chris Hemsworth considered like an international movie star? Like well, it, he's been. He's been. Like well, I guess. Well, you, I guess. Well. International because they show his movies everywhere. I I I, I guess that you is means international. He's famous everywhere you go. Everybody knows Chris Hemsworth now because of obviously because of Thor. Because here's and, my here's uh, my thing, right? This whole thing is supposed to be international, and obviously it looks like London. But outside of Chris Hemsworth, it doesn't seem very London. Oh, well, Chris, Chris Hemsworth is Australian. He's not even exactly. <laughs> That's what I was going for. Like like, there's nothing that speaks London. Well. Uh, Lee Nielsen, Lee, Lee Liam Nielsen, Nielsen is, uh, is Londonese, Scottish, I believe. <laughs> That's close to Londonese, I guess. Londonese, uh, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I, 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 I guess. I mean, they they show the Ferris wheel in like one of the, the scenes link. in a, in, but it yeah. just doesn't feel. Well, granted, it's international as far as it's everywhere. I think that's where it, they're going for is like well, we saw a little international, like I said, with Agent M and so forth, and you know, in Antarctica, and they had a bunch of a bunch of the. In the fir this first, it might be when Will Smith first gets introduced and sees like all the agents everywhere. Um, you see, there's agents everywhere. So this yeah. is more expanding on, expanding on that, where you see international. Do but you, you do get some some old creatures coming back. Those, those aliens rules really that kind of like. I mean, so we weren't around. giving any uh, any essence of a timeline. Do you think it's possible this exists during, one well, or well, after? So that picture only sh that picture only showed the first Men in Black. Mm. There's two more women back after that, was there? Yes. There yeah, there was. were two two women back after that. I'm saying, like, do you think it's possible they want to leave it open for some like crossover? Like, oh, I don't think Tommy Jones or Will Smith coming back. <laughs> you don't? I don't think that's gonna okay. happen. I, I think, yeah, no. Maybe, maybe a, maybe a, not even a cam, maybe a cameo from Will Smith, or maybe they'll see footage of that old movie happening like yeah. in the background, like. While you were doing this, this was happening. Because like I said, corresponding. They, they brought back the chick from um, the big boss chick from the last Men in Black. Okay, she was the one who re remembered, who actually remembered that Tommy Lee Jones had kind of disappeared. Like she knew he, like she was like, "Yeah, he'd been dead years ago," but she knew about him, and like she was the only one that seemed to like she know who actually believed the fact that something was wrong because Mandela effect, right? 
everyone else seemed to not know that um, <laughs> Tommy Lee Jones had disappeared. Well, in the, pa- in, the, in, the, in the paper after in the paper, it showed that there's really three men in black. I thought there was only two. There's three. I, I, if you want to go into detail, right? The oh. very first men in black, the giant cockroach, right? Yeah. The second men in black, uh, if you remember, um, K has no memory. Yeah, and then they have uh, it's with the dude from Jackass. Yeah, okay. He's in it, and a chick from like some movie. Yeah, she's in the it. The third one. Okay, and they the go third... back in time. Too uh, and Josh Will Smith, Bro- Josh Brolin being with Thor. Sorry, with uh, Thanos being. being Is young, that Thanos? Yes, yeah, Thanos. Yeah, <laughs> being young. I did not realize he was a young, yeah. a young, young Agent K, and then uh, he has uh, uh, Will Smith gets to go back. The, the third one with um, with what's your name? Um, with Boris the Animal. Was that? Because I hate that name. Yeah. Is it great? Yeah, I think it's Boris. Boris the Animal. Okay. So I'm sorry. I'm getting confused. I, I, could, I didn't know there was. Okay, gotcha. Okay. And then he jumps off the top of the like the Empire State Building and it sends him in a time warp to go back in time. No, it's part two. No, I'm saying part three, though. Part three is when. No, that is part three. That he jumps off. He's like, he's like, oh, dude, you need to go back in time. No, I thought what then. Part, part two, they don't have to go back in time. Part no, two no, is I'm that. Trying, let me let me see. Let me talk. Um. <laughs> So part what's the one of the part two we have to send what's her name to space because she's the princess and she has Orion's on her belt, Orion's on the cat's belt. Okay, so Orion's on the cat's belt in part one. Okay. The princess from Zedia, wherever, yeah. is the whenever she cries that rains. Um, they have to send her to space. Yes. Which uh, one was that? That's part two. When he goes back in back in time. In part three, they don't go back in time in part two. Okay. Part three, they go back in time because K is murdered and it screws up the entire timeline. And only Will Smith seems to notice, and so they send him back in time to fix whatever happened. Okay, and that's what that. I little... was just, I was confused. <laughs> I was confused on this timeline here. <laughs> wow. I forget. I it's just that's my that's my Mandela effect where I think there's only two, there's three, or I think there's three, there's only two. <laughs> but no, um, yeah, I was. I haven't seen those movies in a long time. I, I remember the one. Um, if you're curious about the Mandela effect, go look up Berstein Bears. It'll explain it all. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. But anyway, um, are you looking, are, are you looking forward to this? I mean, is this going to be a a opening weekend for you type thing? <sighs> Honestly, it really. There's nothing here, and this is not really hate on Men in Black. I I actually do like this this uh, saga, so to speak. But this, I don't I don't see any reason. The, it it feels like a Men in Black spinoff. It doesn't feel like it's actually Men in Black. This really feels like. Meanwhile, do you think it's like a hidden reboot? I do think it's hidden reboot. Yeah, I think if this goes well, cause, they'll make Men they, in Black International too. Because they went out for the like the biggest star of the time it was probably Chris Hemsworth, and then they went for like the biggest female star. And around this time, what was happening to be his co star Thor of Ragnarok? Thor. Yeah, I mean she she checks. She, it's like it's like um. It's like a checklist, right? Um, international appeal, check. International like comedy appeal, like girls like them and people find them funny, check. Yeah. Uh, diverse, check. Uh, uh, female, check. Right? It's just going down this list. Yeah. Uh, new like hotness actors, like one of the more new actors, like check. It's just like going down this list. It's like, like not old. And then I like got the old elements there, like Ali and Neeson. Uh, old badass white dude check. It's just like a list. It's like okay, cool. We and they probably think we had the perfect formula for the perfect movie. Now we can reboot this series. And yeah, is this like basically? It feels like they took the checklist from the original Men in Black film, <laughs> and then couldn't check off female because the, the they had the main film on the very first one. So like, damn, we need to revisit this list. And now we need to make sure we just add this checkbox. I, I don't, I don't see it happening. What do you? What about you? Do you feel like this is gonna be? The new hotness, or is it gonna be old and busted? I think it's. I think it's gonna make. A, I think it's gonna make a lot of money. Okay, look, it's, it's gonna make a lot of money. And it's Titanic going to... made some of the most money in the world. It is not a great movie. No, I'm, I'm saying. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying it's, it's gonna make a lot of money. It's gonna get a lot of buzz. People are gonna see it because of uh, Thor and that chemistry, and from Thor Ragnarok, and like, oh yeah, I know her from Thor and probably the Avengers Part Four. Um, I I like them and. Oh yeah, I'm familiar with them, so I'm gonna go see it. And Men in Black's funny. The trailer's funny. It's very comedic. It's nothing too serious. It is. It's very non-Agent K, where he's all business. 
<laughs> that that has been taken out of all at, 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 at that's gone in general um it's going to be i wonder if you can see will smith or tom lee jones so let's go see it i wonder the uh, let's, let's look for some callbacks some easter eggs um let's see where this lies in the timeline of when the first one happened there's going to be a lot of i want to go just 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 to see it's the it's the car crash so you have to look all right, well, tell us what you think. Do you think this is going to be a hit, or do you think this is going to be the new hotness, or is this going to be old and busted like the old Men in Black? I'm thinking it's it's worth a watch when it's on regular TV, but I don't see it getting past this one new, quote-unquote, attempt at a spinoff. Here's my final thought, though. If I, if I watch this, if I pop this in my DVD player, if I download this illegally, if I walk in the theater, if they don't play that damn Men in Black theme... That the theme I love by Danny Elfman, you know, dun 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 dun. dun. I'm, I'm walking out. I'm I'm popping it out. I'm destroying it, and I will Don't never be, look. I, back. I have no idea what theme you're talking about. The, the Men in Black being by Danny Elfman. Dun, I, dun. I I know it it was starts, but I just don't know the exact <laughs> like the amount of like the full length of that song. Don't these movies all start with like a bug too? It has to start with a bug. Like typically, they all follow like a bug and then like splats into something. Anyway, that's our thoughts. What do you think? You think it's gonna be a hit? Do you think this is gonna be? Um, something you're gonna check out, or do you? What do you think about it? I mean, do you think, like I said, Lee Nielsen will be taken? That that's the over under right now. At least we're taken. <laughs> and on that final thoughts, we are out. See you later.